After shocking the world with its text generation AI model ChatGPT and image generation AI model DALI, OpenAI stuns the world again with its research prowess, but this time with a video generation AI model. On February 15, Sam Altman was taking people's caption on Twitter and sharing videos generated using those captions. And on February 16, OpenAI announces text to video generation AI model named Sora. OpenAI claims that Sora can create surrealistic as well as imaginative scenes from textual instructions. So let's go ahead and check out some of the videos generated by Sora along with the prompt. Sora is still in initial stage and not public yet. Currently, OpenAI red teamers are assessing the risk associated with the technology. Red teamers are a group of people hired by the organization to attack their software or try various intrusions in the initial stage so the organization can better understand the limitations and risk associated with the technology. Surprisingly, there were opening for red teamers at OpenAI which closed on December 2023. Sora can create videos up to a minute long based on user prompt. It can create videos with resolution 9020 by 1080 p vertical 1080 by 9020 and everything in between. This can be used to create videos for different device sizes. The model not only understands what user has asked for in the prompt, but also how it exists in real world. Sora can also create multiple camera shots taken from different angle in a single video that accurately possess characters. It can even possess characters even if they go out of the frame and are back again. It can take still image as input and generate video from it, animating its content with accuracy. It can extend an existing video or filling missing frames. It can extend video in the both forward and backward directions. Sora can also be used to create a seamless transition between videos. Here is one example of that. It can also be used to edit existing videos to transform style and environments of existing videos. Apart from videos, Sora can also generate images of different sizes with resolutions up to 2048 by 2048. Overall, Sora is quite a big project with bunch of functionalities. Just like image generation model DALI, Sora is diffusion model that starts with a static noise and iteratively generates video by removing little noise each time. Individual networks used in Sora are based on famous transformer architecture. During training stage, at first, video compression network compresses the dimensionality of the visual data. This network takes raw video as input and outputs a latent representation that is compressed both temporally and spatially. This latent of frames are referred to as space-time latent patches. This space-time patches acts as a transformer tokens just like GPT text tokens. The main transformer architecture is then trained to produce these patches, aka tokens. During inference stage, Sora starts with static noise and generates the space-time latent patches first. Then the decoder model maps the space-time latent patches to actual video. This space-time latent patches based approach lets Sora generate videos with varying resolution, aspect ratios and durations. During training and inference, they also use GPT to transform short user prompts into detailed caption to further improve video generation. Overall, there are multiple networks involved in video generation process. The current model is first version of text to generation model and has few limitations. It sometimes struggles to create complex scenes involving multiple characters and their interactions. It even struggles with a specific instance of object state change like person might take a bite of a cake and the cake might not have a bite afterwards, glass shattering, etc. It might even struggle with precise description of event that takes place over time. But after all, this is the first version and we all know how OpenAI went from GPT-1 to GPT-4 within few years. So this technology is going to get better over time. If OpenAI invests more resources, then it won't take longer for this one to get more accurate. To prevent misuse of Sora, OpenAI said that they will be taking measures like developing a classifier that can tell whether a video is generated by Sora. They will also include a C2PA metadata in the video that can be used to verify its origin and related information. Apart from this, they will have measures to prevent prompts that request extreme violence, obscene content, hateful content, intellectual properties of others and so on. 